In this video, we're going to look at the boundaries and contents of the popliteal fossa. The popliteal fossa is the diamond-shaped depression found at the posterior aspect of the knee joint. So we'll start just by drawing a diamond shape. And what we need to do for our diagram is we need to decide which side of the image is going to represent the medial aspect and which side is the lateral aspect. So we'll just identify this as medial. It doesn't matter. You could do this in the mirror image and it would still work. Okay. And that will now allow us to identify which muscles are forming these four different borders. So the superior borders are coming from your hamstring muscles. On the lateral side, you're going to have the combined muscle bellies from biceps femoris. And on the medial side, you'll have the two semi muscles. So semi tendinosus and semi membranosus. The inferior borders are actually formed by one single muscle that has two heads, and this is gastrocnemius. So we'll mark the lateral head lateral head of gastrocnemius there on the lateral side and on the medial side we'll do the same. Now it's important that we look at the structures that are found within this popliteal fossa. So entering in right through the midline is going to be the sciatic nerve. But at some point, usually just proximal to the popliteal fossa, the sciatic nerve will have split into its two component parts. So we'll label number one, the nerve that's traveling down in the center of the popliteal fossa is the tibial nerve or the tibial branch of sciatic nerve. And this one that's running along the border of biceps femoris will be the common fibular nerve or the common fibular branch of the sciatic nerve. Also in this popliteal fossa, you will find the popliteal artery and very closely the popliteal vein. Now those popliteal vessels are um, a continuation of femoral vessels and it's not critical that you would know the relationship between tibial nerve and the popliteal artery and vein. You'll be able to distinguish those just based on characteristics of nerve, artery, and vein that you'll be learning in the lab.